So here we are at a boatyard uh, in Plymouth looking at the propeller that was uh, recently found. Uh, when was it found, Mel? Uh, it was found on Saturday. On Saturday. So uh, we're here now on uh, Monday and uh, we're looking at a propeller here. Uh, Mal's going to talk to you a little bit about it in a minute, but um, really what we've been thinking is how did it get there? What aircraft did it come off? Plenty of aircraft have crashed in Plymouth Sound. Uh, we know for sure now that this one is not off uh, the BF-109, which uh, Plymouth at War did a nice little film about recently. Um, it is a variety of aircraft that could have come off. Could have come off a Lancaster that's crashed in Plymouth Sound. Could have come off um, various Sunderland aircraft wrecks out there. I think you'll see in a minute we found a serial numbers. Uh, these will go off to uh, experts and then we'll be able to find out exactly what type of aircraft this came off and even the very aircraft itself, who knows. Anyway, you heard it first at Plymouth at War. Yeah, so here we are with Plymouth at War with uh, Mallory Haas from uh, 3H Consulting and also the ship's project, who's uh, the chief archaeologist. So what we got here then, Mal? Well, it looks like that um, a fisherman that was out in the sound over the weekend and he was pulling up some lobster pods by the west end of the breakwater and what he pulled up with it was a airplane for calling a prop. Um, and when we first started to look at it, it didn't quite look like some of the other Sunderland propellers that we had seen come up, but because we hadn't really gotten a close look at it, we weren't sure. So after some examination and a little bit of um, um, using acid, we were able to look at the maker's plate here. What we have is it says Rolls-Royce, Merlin, gear unit, and then its number. So from this, we'll probably be able to tell what plane this came off of. And we know that the Merlin engines were on Hurricanes, and they were on Spitfires, and they were also on Lancasters. And we do know that there was a Lancaster that went down in the sound. Well, I think with your contacts, with our contacts, that, you know, combined, I would say probably less than Dave will absolutely be able to figure out which one of this came from. Smashing. Yeah. Remember, you heard it first at Plymouth at War. <laughs> 